guess who's back back again mikey's back tell a friend hey everybody here with another video for you guys today and today we're going to be looking at my switch cade you can see it back there behind me and um but before we go any further let me just say if you like this video any other videos on the channel please like comment and subscribe and if you're really inclined and really want to support uh me and my content you could head over to mikey j productions my main channel and you can become a member we got uh a great discord community and everything we're building over there so head on over there and become a member and uh but we're going to be getting into the switch cade after my intro coming in now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. America! Demand your- hey, JP! I want my MJP. I want my MJP. I want my MJP. Call your cable company and say I want my MJP. And here is my Switch Cade. It is a Gen 1 Arcade 1 Up Street Fighter 2 cabinet. And yes, a Nintendo Switch is operating it. I installed IL sticks and some hat buttons with the cherry micro switches. Had to put a couple extra buttons in for some of the games, so I stuck them in down here. Just needed a one extra button I found. And this was actually a display unit in a Walmart, so that's why it got a little tore up. Uh, but I got a really good deal on it. and. I can live with that and you know it's really all about the joysticks and buttons and like I said these are these are top of the line sticks and buttons I put in this thing and you can see I got Street Fighter Alpha 2 fired up right here uh, these, these are great great Street Fighter games that are not available on any other platform including Arcade 1 Up uh, so I definitely wanted to get these on here because I didn't want to just rehash games that I have on other cabinets. I wanted this one to feel unique in its own thing. And let's uh, see how it goes. I got both player one and two fired up. You can see all the sticks and buttons for everything. They do work. And it's actually an X-Arcade PCB that I got in here. Uh, because I did this on the cheap, um, the only thing I had to buy was I spent $10 on some a wiring harness for the X-Arcade PCB, but everything else was all stuff I already owned, and so it was super inexpensive for me to convert this thing into a Switchcade, which originally it was, I had a PC in here with a GTA 1030 uh, graphics card. But I ended up uh, removing that because I think this is a little simpler. And here is the X-Arcade uh, adapter to allow you to hook up to the Nintendo Switch. And then you also need this little adapter here that plugs into the Switch and allows you to plug in more than one control. And I needed it out because of the home button because you need the home button and so I just mounted everything on the side of the cabinet and here is the Nintendo Switch that is powering it. I wanted to leave it out so I could access it easily if I wanted to play it on handheld mode and here's the speakers I got up here for sound. Now an Intec gaming deck I would recommend going with over this particular way to make a Switch Cade um, but again I went this route because I already had all the parts and pieces so it was literally only cost me like 12 bucks to put this thing together and then here let's switch over to get some good quality uh, footage of all the games that I have on here at the moment um, and you can see a lot of modern games and classic games um, the modern games I do not recommend playing with joysticks and buttons no you're better off just playing in handheld mode if you want to play uh, modern games but the classics like this Capcom a arcade stadium they got some great Capcom games on the Nintendo Switch. Basically, every Capcom game you could ever ask for. We got Ghosts and Goblins, Legendary Wings, 1943, Strider. We got 1941 Counter Attack, Carrier Air Wing, 19XX, Giga Wings, 
1944, the Loop Master, and 1942 again. And this is just in this one game. And you can buy all these games a la carte, you know, because they have a lot more options. Basically, every Capcom game you could ask for. You got Black Tiger, Tiger Road, uh, Magic Sword. And then I went ahead and got the Street Fighter Alpha Trilogy 1, 2, and 3. 2 is actually my favorite of the three of them, but they're all great, great Street Fighter games. And like I said, they're not available in any other cabinet. And then I also got the Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle. And what's really cool about this is you can play online with the Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle. So basically everything that you can do on like the new Hodouken or Yoga Flame Arcade 1-Up cabinet, like you can do on a, on a Switch Cade, absolutely. And you can do a lot of stuff that it can't. Let's you take a look at all these great beat em ups on the Capcom bundle. And then of course we've got Donkey Kong and there's these different versions of Donkey Kong. There's high scores. Um, and it's just, if you want an official version of Donkey Kong, you know, arcade version, the only way you're playing it is on Nintendo Switch. And then I got Donkey Kong 3 as well. Uh, I like Donkey Kong 3 better than Junior, but I'll probably get Junior eventually. And then you can also get into some great console games that will trans over, translate great onto Nintendo Switch. And you see you got Alex Kidd, Alien Soldier, Altered Beast, Beyond Oasis, Biohazard Battle, Bonanza Boys, Columns 1, 2, Crackdown, Decap, Mr. Robotnik, Dynamite Heady, E-Swap, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky, Gain Ground, Galaxy Force 2, Golden Axe 2, 1, 2, and 3. Then Land Stalkers, Light Cruise, Fanny Star 2, Fanny Star 3, Fanny Star 4, Rise Star, Shadow Dancer, Shrinking in the Darkness, Shining Force, Shining Force 2, Shinobi 3, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Spinball, Space Harrier 2, Straits of Rage 1, 2, and 3. And then Super Thunder Blade, Sword of Vermilion, The Revenge of Shinobi, Toe Jam and Earl, Toe Jam and Earl 2, and then Vectro Man 1 and 2, and a Virtua Fighter 2, the Genesis version. And then of course you have the NES Online, and there's just, like I said, so many great games that you can play on a Switch Cade that will translate over fantastic to arcade controls. And all these classic NES games definitely fit that bill. You know, original NES versions of Donkey Kong, Super Mario Brothers. You got Double Dragon 2 here, the NES version, great port. You know, there's just so many great games here. Excite Bike, with Mario the Lost Levels, and then Punch Out. You can actually get all the Punch Out games. Now, you don't get Mike Tyson's Punch Out, no, but you get the regular, the knockoff version with Mr. Dream, as well as you can get the classic arcade Punch Outs as well on the Nintendo Switch. So, if you're a Punch Out fan, a Switch Cade is definitely something you would be interested in. And, you know, as I'm going through just more of these great games that you can play here on a Switch Cade, and I mean, it's just, and this is just, again, me starting up just from, you know, just now putting it together. And I have already this kind of a library of games to choose from to play on this thing. It, it's, it's really impressive. And, yeah, Switchgate. And then, of course, we got the SNES online as well. And so, the, you know, we just had to show off all the games that are just available here so you know you want to talk about bangers and the switch definitely has a lot of bangers in its library so much so that I mean honestly it, it puts just about any company's games to shame when you look at all the available options whether it's the Sega Genesis the SNES or the NES and they've even got the Nintendo 64 stuff that they're adding as well just the library games that is available on this thing and here's super punch out so you got the SNES punch out as well like I said you can go all in with punch out you could do a punch out cab with this thing if you wanted to um, I don't know if I put Mike Tyson on it, but uh, you know, definitely can put Little Mac because you got all the Punch Out games with the exception of the Wii Punch Out game. Um, but yeah, I mean, just classics after classics, just to be able to play on the Switch. 
And then, as far as modern games that do translate over well, Super Smash Brothers, I'm not a huge fan of it, but this could actually possibly translate over to arcade controls. That might be worth a look. I might have to get into. And then the Diablo games. Diablo 3, oh, these games play great with arcade controls. I can't recommend them enough. If you like Gauntlet, this is the game for you. And then there it is, everybody. That is my Switch Gate. So stay tuned for more updates on it in the near future. And take care, everybody. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.